malaki, mas eksklusibo, mas eksklusibong kapamilya ka Tex. Ka-close na natin sila. Dito boy abunda. And Miss Gretchen Barreto. Talagang super close na tayo sa hottest and biggest stars. At may lipi ka pang 3K Tex. Kaya, Tex na sa all new kapamilya ka Tex. You were able to perform on stage at Pinoy Dream Academy last mm, night. Mm. How was the experience? Experience. Very... Uh, um, very exciting but very nervous as well because it's the, our first TV program in, mm. in the Philippines. Yeah. But of course we are very happy that we have the chance to to go into this. Program. And the audience were great. Oh. I think they were so yeah. into it. Yeah. Um, how does it feel that you're really popular in Asia in just a span of three years and which is that's really a big fit, right? I think we are very lucky, you know, that we got so much uh, support from so many people around the world, you know, because we are working very hard, of course, and we, their feedback is a great motivation for us. And I think because four of us, we shoot like quite a lot of dramas and our albums. Mm. So our dramas can be seen like all over these places, yeah. these countries. So we have to th thank all the medias to make us like mm. be seen. You've mentioned that you have, you have done a lot of TV series before, right? Uh -huh. Which among the dramas that you've made is me most memorable for you? All of them are memorable. Is it, <laughs> yeah. is it Romantic Princess, Hana Kimi, or um, Tokyo Juliet, or XO, or X, a KO, or X Family? Um, <laughs> I think all of the dramas yeah, really brings back good memories, but yeah. maybe. Mm, <laughs> I think all the dramas are memorable. Each one is unique to us. and. <laughs> We're still learning in every drama, and I think even we shoot next drama, we're still learning because there are lots of things for us to learn. Yeah. Yeah. How about the leading ladies that you've worked with? Whom are you closest to? Like, is closest to? Yeah. For me, I guess. Is it Ella, Angela? I guess it's Ella because she's from the same company, and then we always meet each other, and yeah. then. Uh, uh, from the start, before we filmed Hanakimi, we, were, we already know each other and then we have a lot of uh, cooperation, like yeah. we work together, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, like two those those female leading roles with us, I think we are all friends, but yeah. we are all like busy most of the time, so yeah. like we get very close during the filming, yeah. the yes. filming time, but after filming we might just we don't count them. Very, very sad. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. they are busy. We are busy, but yeah. we're still friends. Yeah. Um, you both grew up elsewhere. Um, what was it like starting a showbiz career in Taiwan? What adjustments did you have to make since you finished your studies in Australia, right, and you in yeah. Canada? Yeah. For me, because. Uh, I was born in Brunei and then my family is in Brunei. Mm -hmm. So the adjustment I need to make is like um, because every time I go home, I I feel lonely, you know, at this start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So until now, I still miss home, and I think this is the the big adjustment that I need to adjust my my mind. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Calvin? Um, for this question, I think most of the artists, they will say they, they are losing their privacy. Yeah, But for me, I don't want that to be changed too much. I still go out with my friends, even female friends, to go out have dinner. I, I just don't want to be changed too much. If I care too much, I will lose many, many things. So I still want to be the original one, original myself. Yeah. But the other thing is losing time to spend with my family. That's true. Even I li uh, even I live with my family in Taiwan, I can see them most of the time. But whenever I go out, like they are already sleeping. And when <laughs> oh, I when I when I bad. yeah when I go out, maybe 
they're still sleeping or maybe when I go out, wake up in the afternoon they already left for work. So what do you miss most about um, those countries um, in like in Australia or in Canada? Because you finished your college studies there, right? Yeah, Australia is just uh, I just went there to study mm -hmm. like maybe five years, yeah. But most of my time is in Brunei. Brunei. Yeah, and th I think I, what I miss most is about the uh, maybe the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know the the feelings. You yeah. know, every day when you wake up, you are in your house mm -hmm. with your family. Mm -hmm. That's very different. Yeah. Yeah, you know one thing, the similar similarity between Australia and Canada is their population and their their size. Mm. I think it's about the same. So we have so much to talk about. Whenever mm -hmm. he talks mm. about Australia, I talk about Canada. Mm. And I'm going back to Canada at the end of August for uh, the Sunshine Boys contest I was in. And this year I'm gonna be the special guest with Aaron, Aaron of. Fahrenheit. So that's a good thing. I can go back to look around and breathe the fresh air there. 